his ears bite off. Hey, hey, hey. I am the man who can just look at the woman and she gets pregnant. You should leave issues of the generals to the generals. You want another rap? Yeah, Susan! <laughs> <laughs> Outgoing Prime Minister and Senate of Styled Mr. Kirin at one of his last official battles. Point Blank recognizes you as probably the most powerful Prime Minister Uganda has had. But isn't this the kind of action that forced President Yoram 7 to give you the last blow? <laughs> <laughs> But why did you dare receive his tributes of power when the man who fought for freedom is still strong? You know, what you call instruments of power are given to me every year for the last 28 years because uh, I have been receiving these. There is nothing here. Thank you. But you are not alone. Even the pute Lord Mayor, Slimani Chidadala, has been sacked. Yes, Lord Mayor. Okay, Using the powers vested in you, tell us Chidadala's fate. Fine. Oh, the Lord Mayor is overwhelmed by emotions. <laughs> but uh, we shall not allow Kidandala to take your place. We shall not. You are still Lord Mayor. I've been patient, I've been magnanimous. But my patience and magnanimity has been overstretched. Just announce Kidandala's fate. Announce it. A decision has been taken that his name be withdrawn. But there is bad news in Parliament. The condoms supplied to MPs are running out so fast. Dr. Vitecherezo, how many boxes do you normally get in Parliament? I cannot establish the number of boxes that are being consumed in Parliament party, but I can tell you we tried it. We have been putting them in place of convenience and you see them disappearing, meaning that they are being used. So, how can the government solve this problem, Honorable Azza? We need more condoms because, and as, as you know, most of the members here, especially the male members of parliament, have their wives. Please clearly tell us the consumption pattern of these condoms in parliament to help the suppliers know when to stock the lifeguards. They are traveling out, say out of the country or maybe in the upcountry areas. Is it true this happens in Parliament, Dr. Techerezo? Things are happening to me because these condoms are not eaten. They are used. I like you for being blank to the point, Doctor. You are the point blank MP. There is no way we can hide our heads in the sand like ostriches as if things are not going wrong. Ah! Honorable MPs can really consume condoms. Even by you, you use them because first of all, where, are they, where are they going? Ah! Not me. It is you, Honorable, who picks those condoms. I don't use these things because I, 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 I am a married man. I have only one woman. Thank you for being faithful. We shall put these condoms in uh, places of convenience, in the parliament. I can tell you, people will continue to keep picking them. But uh, is it true that the condoms do not fit some MPs? That some youth are complaining that the condoms that they are being given, some of them are too short. Their organs can't fit in them very well. How can we solve this serious problem then? There's a need for us really to have condoms of various sizes and dep depending on the different communities. Ah, you mean different communities have different sizes of... Uh... Because there are some organs that can uh, be you know, long and then others short but uh, fat. You have really taken time to study these things of yours, Bweshibiwa. You find people who normally eat cassa a lot of cassava, with a lot of potatoes and millet, have got, uh, you know, big sexual organs, especially for men. Some examples, please, Hodarwaza. Karamoja, South Sudan. I have proved this, that people around these areas have got bigger sexual organs. Ah! Are you also an old Hodarevo? I mean, what is your size, Hodarevo? Standard. I have standard size. Agnes Nandi too. Point blank. That's enough. <laughs>